Sure. Well, then how do you balance being a leader, not just in church, but at work as well as a mate? Because that overlaps a lot in your life. I know you've got mates that work for you. You've got people at church that are mates that work un under you and with you in ministry. How do you balance the two? Uh, that's a really good question. Look, at the end of the day, Ray, I'll say this. It comes down to your personality. You've got to be a straight up guy. Okay. All right. So you've got to be balanced. You can't be one person and a different person the next day. So I kind of try and maintain who I am everywhere across the board. The ugly thing about it sometimes, as you know, I've got mates working for me. I'm in the ministry and sometimes you kind of got to have that leadership role. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So there's moments where you're going to be in church, you're going to be in a meeting and you've got to make those difficult decisions. Now, I'll, I'll tell you, when, when I come across that... Um, it leaves a sick feeling in my stomach mm -hmm. because I'm not a confrontationalist and the last thing I want to do is address somebody that I love. Mm -hmm. But I look at the big picture and I look at why I do the things that I do. And this is why I'm super cautious about being fair in every decision I make. It's a real difficult place to be in yep. um, where you have your mates working for you, you got your mates at church, but still... In certain ministries, you've got to lead them. And it takes its toll on you. So there's there's been those nights where I kind of lay in bed with my eyes open and I'm just chewing on certain things. It, it, it's difficult. I'm not going to lie to you. And I think the one thing that I agree with you on is I'm not a confrontationalist either. Um, I actually hate that side of leadership, that side of ministry. How do you deal with that? Because there's a lot of people out there that are the same way, but they do have to face those difficult situations. Whatever tough decision that I make, mm -hmm. first and foremost, I do it in love. And at the end of the day, you have to make those decisions which is right. Mm -hmm. It is so tough to be able to do that to a friend, a loved one, or even a person at church. Because at church, you got to appreciate, no one's getting paid to do what they do. Yeah, that's right. So again, it is a balance I'll look at it this way. Does it make me uneasy going to church? Honest truth? Uh -huh. Yeah, it does. Really? I'm not going to lie to you. I, um, when I've got to make those decisions, it really, really does take its toll on me um, because it's not natural for me. Where some of the other leaders, I'll make a decision and, and kind of be comfortable is. with yeah, it. Yeah. I'm not that person. Um, so at the end of the day, I kind of struggle with it. Mm -hmm. But I know I have a role, I have a position – and like I've told you many a time, just be prepared for it. Not every decision that you make at church, it's, it's going to be um, received by everybody. 